welcome back everybody today we have a small unboxing um, I have in my hands a Seagate 1.92 terabyte Iron Wolf Pro 125 now I'm gonna say up front that this is not a consumer drive this is built for NAS systems um, and it, it's not quite at that enterprise level that you get out of some of the Intel drives or some of the Micron drives that are really targeted on servers, but it is above and beyond anything you'd see out of a normal consumer drive. So this is the Iron Wolf Pro 125. I actually had a, this is for a, a client that I'm working with. Um, so Seagate didn't send this one in. And... Uh, just taking a look at the box here, we've got a couple of different pieces of information. So, you know, some fun graphics on the side. This actually wouldn't look out of place in, on a shelf somewhere like Micro Center. Um, specs say 3D TLC, five year warranted, three year rescue plan, MTBF of 2 million hours, and up to 7,000 TBW on the 3.84 terabyte model. Um, so obviously the TBW goes down, but it looks like they use a single package. Yeah, so this is a sticker. So they use the same box for all the drives, and then they put a sticker on it as is appropriate for the capacity. So let's go ahead and pop this open, which I don't have my knife with me. So we're going to just pry that with a screwdriver really quick. All right. I what this color chart is. I've seen it on packaging for a couple of different things, but... Yeah. All right, so in the box we have the drive itself, the rescue recovery software leaflet. There's not even like a serial key in here. Uh, Seagate's warranty and a but in a bunch of languages and literally nothing no instructions on how to install the drive how to use it this is just here's the rescue recovery stuff great we get a license for three years of that and here's your warranty um, and then the drive itself is in some oh, anti-static packaging. All right, so right off the bat, this is different than a lot of consumer SATA drives I am seeing these days. Um, we have got a fully metallic shell, and it looks like this is pressed together. I wonder if that'll pop open easily or not. So we got a fully metallic shell. I'm expecting to see. Are there any screws? Doesn't feel like there's any screws. So this should just pop apart with a little bit of wiggling. Nope. I am not going to be able to get that open without destroying it. And I do have to install this for a client, unfortunately. So anyway. Um, we have a full full metal shell here. The shell is aluminum. I'll see if I can find uh, some reference photos for the printed circuit board to bring that up. Um, outside of that, you know, we've got made in Thailand. We have the capacity and the interface listed here. And uh, yeah, just normal serial number stuff as well. So what makes this drive different? I mentioned that there's a full metal shell. And we've seen that on drives from companies like Crucial. I mean, here's a MX500 with a full metal shell. Um, but this Crucial drive has a much lower TBW rating. Uh, even though I think it still has a five-year warranty, the TBW on an MX500, which is really my go-to SATA drive, has a at a two terabyte capacity, which is as big as these get, 700 terabyte rating. This is rated for 
3,500 terabytes. Okay, so what makes this a NAS drive, or really an entry-level server drive, as opposed to this, which is a high-end consumer drive, and I, I have used two terabyte MX500s and servers before. It's not the best application for them, but honestly, when you've got 20 of them together, you kind of amortize your data written across the drives. Uh, so this, if we want to compare apples to apples, so pretend this isn't a 500 gig, this is a two terabyte MX500, and this is a two terabyte Iron Wolf, which it's 1.92. Uh, we have a 3,500 TBW capat rating here, versus a 700 TBW rating here. Well, that's a five-fold increase in capacity or data written over the same five-year period that these are warranty against. This is the drive that if you have a NAS, if you're you know, a video production shop or someone else who that has all solid state network storage, you get because you're going to write to these things, and you're going to write them, and you're going to rewrite them, and you're going to keep all your active projects on them. Can you use these? Absolutely. Are these better? This is what they're designed for. Um, so you, you have the massive difference in capacities as far as data written. You also have power loss protection. Now we've seen inside the MX500, and we know that there is a small PLP array on it that should protect at least what's in RAM on the drive. The Iron Wolf Pro is different. It has full server-grade power loss. This is designed to have all the data that is in flight to the drive saved to the drive. Um, and if I can get a picture of the printed circuit board, that'll be obvious. Unfortunately, I have to install this one in the system so I can't open it up. Beyond that, I'm going to put this on the bench. I fully anticipate this drive to be one of the best performing SATA drives we've had as far as consistency is concerned. This drive has more NAND in it than a 2 terabyte consumer drive would, more of its over provisioned. That's why its capacity is only 1.92 terabytes. Can you do the same kind of stuff on consumer drives? Yes, I have taken consumer drives or high performance desktop drives because these didn't used to really exist and under provisioned how they were laid out and that's both for endurance reasons and performance reasons the less NAND or the, the more NAND you have available to move around as free space and do wear leveling the more endurance you're going to have that's part of where that 7,000 terabyte on the 4 terabyte model comes from, is that it's only really 3.84 terabytes, so it has a lot more free space to move things around than a 4 terabyte consumer drive, if you can even get one. So, anyway, that's enough jabbering about the Iron Wolf Pro. Um, this is one of a handful of these kind of Goldilocks targeted drives where you're not going and buying a full enterprise SSD from Micron or Intel or Samsung, and you're still getting a lot of those enterprise features. Now that does come at a cost. This Iron Wolf Pro is a $400 drive. Now, I wanna put that in context of, it sounds like a lot of money, but it's really not if that's your MX or is that if that's your application. Yes, this is twice as much as a two terabyte MX500. And typically, if I was using MX500s in a server application, I'm going to buy a bunch of extra drives because I want to spread things out and give them the best chance that they can to do things that they really shouldn't or are kind of on the borderline. But the context that I really want to put this in, and uh, I, I haven't put this on the bench, I've kind of had it kicking around, is this is a 2 terabyte 850 Pro. 
This is actually an MLC drive, and this was Samsung's top of the line some time ago. Um, but that is a very big and high end consumer drive. A two terabyte 850 Pro is actually still a $500 drive, and this is a consumer targeted drive. Now, MLC is better than TLC. So, theoretically, if it was just a matter of having better NAND, I'll get better performance out of this than I will my Iron Wolf Pro here. The reality is, it's not just better NAND. It is better NAND and updated controllers and over-provisioning and quite frankly I full well expect better performance here. The other interesting side of that is what they're really rated for. Um, this has a 10-year warranty which sounds better. It's only rated for 300 terabytes worth of data written to it. Part of that is, and I think they may have uprated these to 600 later on in life. Um, part of that is the NAND that this has is older and didn't have some of the process advantages that new NAND does. And the controller doesn't have some of the redundancy and other tricks up its sleeve to kind of smooth and spread things out and wear leveling is is just more dated. This is still available for sale though. So anyway, um, if you're the kind of person looking at these for data storage and a PC still, you should be looking at these. If you're kind of the person that's building a NAS and you're thinking about cheaping out with these <laughs> if it's less than a four bay NAS, I'm going to tell you don't do it. Eight of these, 12, you know, 20. Yeah, there's a lot of drives there. And to be honest, if you're only writing to it over gigabit Ethernet, or even at 10 gigabit Ethernet, the odds of being able to accomplish a full drive wipe per day on that many of those in a RAID 6 or a RAID 5 even is pretty slim so you but you are gonna lose out on the power loss capacity so if you're gonna do that spend the money on a good UPS now obviously a lot of this is just based on my experiences with these two drives because I, I actually did use that one in a server for a while um, and we'll have full benchmarks this will be going on the bench tomorrow before it goes to the customer. So, and I'll bench this. And I think I have some two terabyte MX500 benchmarks that I already ran. So I'll make sure I use the same tests that I used when I did that. I know we've adopted a couple of new tests or at least poked around at a few. Um, so I wanna make sure that my test suite uh, matches for these, which means there may be a modern test or two that I don't run on this. I, I'll, I'll run them all. So, uh, but I may run tests on this that I haven't run in a while on other drives. Um, that's all we've got for today. Uh, if you have questions, if you're, you know, why is he going on about this Iron Wolf Pro, uh, let me know in the comments below and we'll uh, do our best to answer that or make sure we include it in our coverage. I am going to have a very limited window of this thing on the test bench. So, based on when this will air, it'll probably be too late to actually rerun anything, unfortunately. Um, that, that's just the nature of when I had the drive in relative to the content currently in the pipeline, unfortunately. Um, anyway, I want to go ahead and thank any of our patrons or anyone who uses our Amazon affiliate links. It is support like that that helps make videos like this possible. I also want to 
thank Electrix for providing our opening and closing themes. Thank you for watching.